Hello guys, welcome back to yet another in-depth review of Oxygen OS 13 for OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R. In this video, we'll cover stability part, battery backup, performance and camera segment. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So if you guys are aware, recently OnePlus released stable version of Oxygen OS 13 for OnePlus 8 series. Here I have my OnePlus 8 which is currently running on the stable build of Oxygen OS 13. If you talk about the version, version is F.13. And guys if you haven't received the OT update, I'll provide you guys the zip files of stable build of Oxygen OS 13. You guys can manually update your device. And before talking about the bugs and other stuff, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And guys, before updating, keep one thing in mind. There are a lot of OnePlus users who are facing green line issues on their devices after updating to Oxygen OS 13. In that case, we have made a detailed video on green line issues or you can say that pink line issues. Make sure to watch the video which is being displayed on the screen if you are updating your device make sure there are no physical damage or any kind of water damage if your device is in good condition then they will replace the screen for free of cost one thing which i noticed on this stable build of oxygen os and that's the issue related to 5g connectivity i've used my oneplus 10 pro even oneplus 9 and 9 rt on that i did not face any kind of issues related to 5g connectivity but don't note due to some reasons the area where i get the 5g network on my other oneplus smartphones their oneplus 8 series or you can say my oneplus 8 wasn't getting 5g network there might be some band issues i'm not exactly sure about it but i just wanted to update you guys about the same thing and i've seen many users reporting issues layer to the bluetooth connectivity so here on my device there are no issues right now let me show you bluetooth is turned on and i'll connect my galaxy buds plus it connects with no issues but there are some users who are facing issues related to bluetooth connectivity in that case what you have to do is you need to go to play store and look for an application called wireless earphones this will be pre-installed on your device you just have to update the application from the play store if this thing doesn't solve the issue then you have to wait for the newer build but most people reported that updating wireless earphone application did fix the issues layer to bluetooth okay another issue which was a temporary issue which i found out while using the device and that was like when i accidentally pressed the power key that time youtube was running in the background and this is how it appeared you can see this horizontal line this was a line which appears towards the bottom of the screen but it only happened once nothing much to worry about and if you guys have seen our previous review video which was related to oneplus 9 rt in that also i have mentioned a bug which is related to notification wherein i wasn't able to see the image preview if i expand the notifications in the notification panel so here you can see a screenshot wherein i received a message from one of my friend who sent me an image but when i tapped on the lock screen or you can say notification panel you can see it's clearly a white background and the preview is not being displayed so this is not only with oneplus 8 series this issue i have also seen with oneplus 9 and 9 rt also another major issue is related to brightness guys so i am not sure if you guys are facing that issue but brightness requires a lot of calibration it is not accurate i'm not sure whether the sensors are not working fine or there is an issue with the os towards the left hand side you can see the recording and this always happen it's not like randomly appears it happens with me all the time even if the brightness is set to maximum sometimes screen is too dim and we have to move the slider to adjust the brightness and it doesn't matter if you're using auto brightness also and you know most of the users are complaining that applications like instagram does not support 90 fps or you can say 90 hertz and that's true but oneplus have addressed this issue in their numbers q they have mentioned about it that in upcoming builds this thing will be sorted out and you can get maximum hertz on apps like snapchat and instagram overall i did not notice any major issues these were some of the minor issues which i noticed during my usage of oneplus 8 i've used this device almost for seven eight days continuously and did not find much of issues talking about the battery backup or you can say the charging speed first of all let me show you a screenshot this thing again it's on almost every oneplus smartphone phone which oneplus haven't fixed yet on the lock screen you get to see warp charge and if you go to battery section 
it says Vogue charging. And with no doubt, I can say on my OnePlus 8, I got the maximum screen on time, which I never got on my other OnePlus smartphones. So here you can see with 6% remaining, the SOT is 7 hours and 25 minutes with normal usage, generally what I do on my phone. This was the second battery cycle wherein I played Battlegrounds Mobile India, continuously played 2-3 games. That's the reason SOT dropped, but still with gaming also, I got 4 hours and 4 minutes of screen on time. And talking about the charging time, I exactly don't remember how much my device used to take when I was running Oxygen OS 11. I need to test out this thing. But if you guys are aware, do let me know in the comment section below. On Oxygen OS 13, I started charging my device from 20% and the time was 927. Exactly at 1024, device fully charged from 20% to 100% taking 56 or 57 minutes. So this is the time what device is taking and I always use the stock charger. You guys let me know how much time your device takes to charge from 0 to 100 after the update of Oxygen OS 13. And speaking about camera, so generally none of the brands improves the camera to extreme level with software updates. These things are done within 6 months of the device release. Here are some of the samples which you can take a look at after updating the device I click these samples. It's a old device and I personally don't have any kind of complaints with the camera segment. The pictures are sharper, dynamic range is good, did not notice much of color shifting while using ultra wide and normal lens. So camera is doing pretty decent on my OnePlus 8. And now at last let's talk about the gaming. So as I have already been testing a lot of games but this time I did not test any of the game because most users don't want to watch the games which they don't play. And here in India almost every user 8 out of 10 people do play Battlegrounds Mobile India. So I have also seen a lot of comments that they are getting stable FPS on their devices running Oxygen OS 13 but those users are playing PUBG Mobile not Battlegrounds Mobile India. And I did play Battlegrounds Mobile India on this device. I was able to play few games with not much of issues. Slight FPS drop was there and heating to yes guys heating is always there if we play intense graphic games. But overall, I am satisfied with the performance of OnePlus 8 running Oxygen OS 13. Along with me, there are a lot of users who are happy with the update of Oxygen OS 13 for OnePlus 8 series and 9R. Though there are still things missing, for example, we don't get the support of 90 FPS in BGMI. Some users are getting 90 FPS. For me personally, I have tested almost everything and I did not receive 90 FPS support while gaming. FPS do drops with no doubt, but it isn't like you cannot play the game. You can play the game. We'll just have to wait for few more days or months maybe. Let's see if BGMI comes back. We'll continue to test the BGMI itself and if it doesn't come back, then we'll switch to different games. I'll try to create a community post and depending on that, we'll start testing those games for a review purpose. So guys, this was in-depth review of Oxygen OS 13 for OnePlus 8 series and 9R. It's a good to go update when it comes to overall stability and the battery part. But if you are worried about the green line, then it's a personal call guys. As I told you guys, if your device doesn't have any kind of dent or liquid damage, uh, consider any physical damage, then you can update your device. But if you have any dent on your device, avoid updating because OnePlus won't give you the free screen replacement. So keep this thing in mind before updating. So as of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.